and welcome back to the Ghost Seekers Paragon. My name is Deborah, and I'm the team leader. Today we're going to be going over to some footage that we had taken back in 2008 of a little schoolhouse because we had received some responses from our YouTubers like you and our fans concerning the location of the ghost in the video. So we're going to be talking about that today as well as some historical information and the architect who built it, as well as our investigation, and that fascinating light that we see at the end of the video and where it came from. So welcome back, and thank you for watching. In 1887, there was an abandoned building near the Deschutes River in what is known as Drake Park today. Believe it or not, that schoolhouse that little abandoned building near the river there housed and taught children anywhere from kindergarten through 12th grade. In 1904, that school building was replaced by a three-story wooden frame school building. In 1913, the city grew larger and decided that they needed a bigger schoolhouse. So the city passed a bond of $22,000 to build a more modern-day building. And George Broster House oversaw the construction needs. They were hired by Sweat and Levinsky and Company. One day George was looking down upon his construction workers when the scalpel gave way and George fell to his death in front of the archway there. The construction needs kept going. They kept building and they built a more modern day schoolhouse. The schoolhouse had steep staircases, beautiful large rooms, and an auditorium even. And this is the final result. In 2007, we were able to get the investigation for the Deschutes Historical Society. This is the meeting room where George Brasser House's ghost was once seen by a pianist who claims he even spoke to him. While we were in that room, we used fluorescent lighting to search for any signs of stains. We moved our investigation out into the hallway. This is the area where the employees stated that their keys came up missing and they heard little kids' voices. We photographed, videotaped, and even did some EVP work. We continued on with our investigation to the other two rooms on the bottom floor, but did not find anything. Leaving the last room on the bottom floor, we headed up the staircase. We left a video camera rolling down below, just in case. Now on the first floor, we headed into the antique room. In this room, one of our team members got a headache so bad that he had to leave the room. The rest of our team members just felt a cold chill. As you can see by the photograph, there is activity going on all around us. The people in the picture are very clear that the activity was going all, all around them. In this room we photographed, videotaped, and even did some EVP work. We were now in a large storage room on the top floor by the auditorium. We were all together when suddenly we heard a loud crash. We went out in the hallway to see what, what it was. That's when we heard running down the stairs. We called out, is there anybody there? And nobody responded. We headed down the staircase, photographing, videotaping, voice recording. Again we asked, is there anybody there? And nobody responded. We headed on down to the main floor, and still, no response, no more noises for the rest of the night. After analyzing the evidence, we came across an area of footage to where we thought we saw something moving down the hall. If you look directly in the center of the picture just below, at the light on the wall, you will actually see this spirit walking down the hallway there. The spirit coming down the hallway is not all we caught that night. If you look directly at the front door, you'll see a light on the outside just underneath the archway. 
just above that shield, you'll see a really strange odd light coming out of nowhere. There's a woman on the left who works there and a photographer with the newspaper, who are both with us, start to walk away. A really strange odd light come out of nowhere, at just above that shield. And it'll sway back and forth and back and forth all the way down to the ground. This is the area where George Buster House died.